right. What's up, everybody? This is Corey Salt True Floyd. And of course, right over here is the lovely Demon Engine. We are the American oh, yeah. Junkies. Uh, the rest of the Junkie camp apparently isn't here today. And I think that's just because we're about to be talking about some vile, nasty looking monsters today. And they got scared, so they wanted to stay inside under their blankets with their hot cocoa and marshmallows. And that's perfectly fine. But first, we got to get into some of this geek report. Now, I was a Megan Thee Stallion. How about you? Of if course. you put up that photo, Megan decided Megan decided that she was going to start off this, cre this creepy weekend right and blessed us with this beautiful pinhead Hellraiser cosplay. I know uh, Demons was looking thick, but um, look, I'll put up that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, listen, course. I would, I don't know, I don't normally open up puzzle boxes that rip my soul apart, but um, the hell it is. <laughs> mind you, mind you, Megan's still supposed to be in a Marvel She Hulk t uh, TV show. My, I still have the theory. That when the actress turns to She Hulk, she turns into Megan. It just seems right. Facts. Facts. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna lie. <laughs> but uh oh, all right. Very funny, very, very funny story, very funny gaming story. Uh okay. apparently, uh apparently that the this guy was streaming on Twitch and the guy who was playing the game with he just noticed that he noticed that his partner wasn't, you know, he's looking a little flush. He was looking a little, looking like he might need a sandwich or something. And he was just like, "Yo, or have you eaten today?" He was like, "No, I did not." He was like, "Oh, okay." So, in the midst of playing the game, he doxes him. He doxes him. And for y'all who don't know what doxing me, it means they look at their IP address, and if it's not properly secured, they literally have a pinpoint on where they live. After he docks them, most of the time things like this take a really bad turn. But in this case, he actually sent that man McDonald's. I thought it was very delightful and also unbelievably creepy all at the same time. Pretty much it's some shit that would happen in the TV show You. What do you think? I, I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't know how to feel about that. If I'm being honest, I wouldn't know how to feel about that. I personally love food. I eat it, you know. Thick boy fall. Right. But like especially how me, disrespectful I can be online. You mm -hmm. gonna dox me and then send me food to show me that you know where I live. You can know where I live. All I just 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 know, just like Dave Chappelle, after a certain point, that gun turns into a Jamaican. <laughs> but moving ahead, uh, Brendan Fraser, which uh, the which the community has been praising for uh, him just being an all around nice guy, as well as his portrayal of Robot Man on Doom Patrol, as apparently doubling down with uh, DC. Warner Brothers and HBO because he is going to be playing Firefly in the upcoming Batgirl movie that's going to be exclusively made for HBO Max. Uh, good for him. Yeah, good for I him. Mean, up, up. Here we go. Hack hey, y'all. Whoa, hey. Hey, y'all. Uh, I'm so sorry. I'm late. Um, oh, man. My back has been killing me all day. So, my bad. Looks like Queen. Looks like Queen Neek has decided has blessed us. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm so sorry for the lateness, you guys. Um, no, I was talking shit. I said you was going to be scared. You decided to be under your covers with your hot cocoa. I actually drank some hot cocoa yesterday. Actually, I think it was like yesterday or the day before. Um, it was it was absolutely uh, satisfying because uh, I used uh, hot almond milk. Cause y'all know I don't I don't do the cow's mm-hmm. milk anymore. It's not good for my system. Makes me uh makes me gassy. But yeah, you know. um, some good stuff. Uh, are we still in the geek report? Yes, we are. Right. Lovely. Sure, we are. Uh, Kurt, uh, also Ryan Hurst. Uh, a lot of folks might remember him as Gary Bertier from Remember the Titans. His other fan base will remember him as Opie from the Sons of Anarchy series. He's made it clear that he would like to play Sentry in the MCU. Is that really Opie? He really played like that's Opie. He yeah. looks really different with a beard. I think that's oh, what yeah. that's what it is. He looks very very different with a beard. Um, Sentry. I'm not sure which character MCU character that is. Sentry is uh, is pretty much the Marvel equivalent to Superman. Got it. Yeah. Like, Got it. If anyone was to actually try and fight Hulk fist to fist, he would be the only person who might survive the ordeal. Damn. Everyone else, it would be it would be death. I mean, I don't know though. Like Thanos whooped his ass and turned that man into a pacifist. Let me clarify. Let me let me be a little bit more clear. In the comic world, century. In the MCU world, look, Thanos just had. Thanos wasn't even stronger than the Hulk. He's just a better fighter. Ah, ah. Makes sense. He yeah. tagged him the Hulk before the yeah. Hulk could do some serious damage. Like, Thanos pretty much just gave him good old sweet science boxing. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. It's it, like, it's one thing to outstrip someone, it's something particular to outclass them. Facts. <laughs> Speaking of Thanks. speaking of speaking of classy, Microsoft is apparently working on this Wu Tang Clan RPG game. Uh, I'm here for the Wu Tang Clan getting they, they coins. I'm so here for the Wu Tang Clan getting they coins. You know what I mean? This old nigga right here. Back in the day on PlayStation, not two, not three, PlayStation or PS One. There was Ooh. a awesome violent game by the Wu Tang Clan called Wu Tang Shaolin Style. I think I heard about that. And and yeah, I mean, if we could if we could get a more elaborate version of that, to some extent, I I would be grateful. But either way, as long as these guys are getting their getting their coins. Yep, I'm here. I'm here for the fellas getting their coins now. Like that, this, this cool. group. Has spanned. Microsoft don't fuck it up. Well, they Microsoft got sometimes. Bethesda, so yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah. this is gonna be this is gonna be major for them. Um, absolutely. I'll 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 sing Bethesda's praises when you know the next if we get a proper installments to some of these games instead of re-releasing Skyrim for the umpteenth time. Hey hey look look. I bet you, yeah, I bet you, Bethesda's greatest comeback is, yo, keep that same energy when y'all get another GTA Five. <laughs> I don't even. They, play they need GTA to go ahead with so GTA Six and, do <laughs> and stop playing. Well, right now we know we're getting. Right now we know we're getting Grand Theft Auto Three, Vice City, and San Andreas remastered. So, I no, guess. Rockstar going the way of Bethesda. <laughs> We can't make new shit. Bring some old shit back. <laughs> We're gonna milk the tit till it's dry. Milk it till it's dry. Mm-mm-mm. Speaking of dry, uh, over in the world of Blizzard, with everything mm. going on with Blizzard, especially with the California lawsuit about that was a good dig. That was a good dig. Thank you. It was a good dig. <laughs> that that I, you know what? I really tried on that one, and I appreciate both of you. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> but with the California lawsuit over the um, the studio's culture of discrimination and abuse and harassment towards women, Blizzard has decided to cancel their online BlizzCon event that was scheduled for February 
of twenty mm. of twenty twenty two. Because they already knew what, what time it was, what type of time it was going to be. They already knew that people weren't going to really focus on the games at all. And they've gotten so much bad press over the last, like, several months yeah, this and year I don't think, that nobody gave a damn about those games. And I don't, and I don't the think same, they Go ahead. It's, it's just weird. This is the same company. They made Overwatch and sat mm-hmm. there and fought with the, the entirety of the porn community. So they wouldn't make porn of their characters or use the models from the games. But yet y'all like, doing all you. kinds of freaky weird shit. All kinds of freaky shit at the office. No, they literally mm. have a room called the Bill Cosby Suite. Yeah. And on that note. Yeah. And the funny thing is, uh, me and me and Nico had a had a funny joke. I believe it was last year or the year before. When they were already caught up in a situation where um, an online player in a tournament was speaking for the freedom of Hong Kong, and because Blizzard has so many ties with China, they actually took his prize money and disqualified it from the event. And it was just like they're either going to try and address the situation, or they're going to hit everyone with the old razzle dazzle. And as soon what they as do? the convention hit, razzle dazzle. That tri- First trailer for Overwatch 2. I was like, wow. They really did hit him with the razzle dazzle. I mean, well, you know. You know how that go. I don't think lightning can strike twice. Just, mm-mm. I don't mm-mm. Think it's gonna work you can't. You, you're not going to get out. No, you're not going to get from under this. This is uh, <laughs> it's a little more serious. <laughs> it's a little more serious this time. Um. <laughs> uh. Acting phenom and 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 poltergeist Bill Murray, who could be anywhere and everywhere, is apparently having some sort of secret role in Ant Man and the Wasp, uh, Quantumania. Now, Bill Murray is very is pretty known for his random cameos, uh, pretty much across all platforms. Uh, of course, a lot pretty of folks it. might remember him from Zombieland. Playing himself, uh, he was in. He was in a. He was had a cameo in Dumb and Dumber Two, where he was making crystal meth and had on a hazmat outfit. He's just a very weird person, so eccentric person. So it doesn't surprise me that he's found a way to just stumble into an MCU movie. Do y'all think he's like they're they're kind of like basically priming him to be the new? Uh, what do you call it? Uh, what's his name? Um, uh, what's his damn name? Oh God, I'm I'm like T. blanking T. right T. now. T. No, T. character. No, like he always used to like he's the creator Stan of Marvel. Lee? Yeah, there you go. Damn, Bill I really Murray, like, I feel terrible for like not being able to remember this man's name at the moment. But I had a brain fart. Don't judge me too harshly, no, folks. No. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna judge you, but that would be something. Like his, his, but his are more distraught. comical. Like his cameos just be more comical. And the, and the funny, and the funny thing is, there's such a a weird mis- mystery around Bill Murray that he could pull that off. Yeah, I mean, it would make it would make sense, I guess. Like, and there's because it's it's all it's already weird enough about the Bill Murray stories. Did you ever hear about the French fry story? No. Uh, Sounds interesting. These folks were at a outside bistro, and Bill Murray like walked by, and it was a uh, it was three people there. Mm-hmm. Two people were talking, and the other guy kind of looked at him and was like, "Oh shit, it's Bill Murray." Bill Murray put his hands in the guy's plate, ate some of his French fries, and was just like. No one's gonna believe you, and just kept walking. Um, I could believe that though. Like he's that he's that audacious. I mean, but that's you know that's also the confidence of a you know middle aged white man. So oh, uh, he I don't he ain't middle aged no more. He's just older. I mean, I'm sure when it happened, he was probably middle aged. No, this was the early two thousands. Exactly, middle aged. No, I'm about, to say, I'm about to see how old he was. Still old, dude. 
Because I'm about to say he was like 30 in the first Gold Ghostbusters, and that was like 84. <laughs> hey man, hey man, I don't make the rules. Oh, anyway, speaking of the speaking of the 80s, Hasbro has released all seasons of the 80s Transformers animated series on YouTube. Interesting. So if you're an OG, triple, triple OG, or you're on the nostalgia train and want to know what old folks were really into back then, there you go. Oh, boy. Listen, by the time I was watching this, it was already syndicated, so. <laughs> I mean. I mean. <laughs> yeah. Uh, in other in other video game news, um, Skydance Media, who uh, worked with Naughty Dog on the um, on the Uncharted series, they're currently working on a, a untitled Marvel game, which is supposed to be a large blockbuster video game that is in no way, shape, or form like the current Marvel Avengers game out. I hope so. <laughs> Me too. If I'm happy about one thing, I'm happy that about my uh terabyte for my PlayStation going out. Mm-hmm. If I'm happy with one thing about that, I, that means I no longer have that game or my system. I ain't even have to look at it to go delete it. <laughs> I mean, I'm playing it right now and I like it. But then again, I got it through Game Pass, so it's no love lost really. So I mean, far, I got so my copy good. for free too, but still, it disappointed the entirety of the squad. I mean, it, it gave me exactly what I thought it was going to be, so I think y'all had your hopes set too high. Oh, baby. It's because, um, you know what? It's Square Enix, and I'm mm-hmm. used to everything Final Fantasy being damn near good. We don't speak about 13th. A <laughs> uh, quick piece of manga news: the Ble- uh, Bleach next arc, uh, which is Thousand Year Blood War, it will not be censored, allowing fans to enjoy the rawness of the upcoming arc. Oh, oh so, my god! So you're either about to elim- eliminate a lot of kids who are watching it, or about to get a lot more kids into this manga. I mean the way they Yo. the way people watch their kids, they don't actually pay attention to what the hell they're watching. So if anything, you just gonna have a lot of angry parents mm. upset. Oh about well what their children are watching got, rather than just turning the damn channel. Kids. Yeah, yeah, I am a firm believer in that. Firm now believer. there's a there was a really sick burn this week. And I mean a a, a so sick burn. So LeBron James King James, uh, as as some will call him, uh, someone asked him about Squid Game, and he said he enjoyed the he enjoyed it, but he didn't like the ending though. The creator. I mean, that's his opinion. The creator of Squid Game said, "Have you seen Space Jam Two? I have not watched Space Jam Two, so I don't have an opinion on that one. No, 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 that was his comeback. I mean. I mean, you know, play with fire. God damn. Play with fire. Ooh. Ooh. Play with fire. Shit. Play with fire, I suppose. You know, you don't talk Bruh. shit unless you uh really bought it, bought it, and you know, talk shit. Your shit clearly is Get not. A, yeah, yeah. Bruh. That's what happens. I mean, I, 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 I know people weren't that. expecting him to say that, <laughs> but Fix you know, sports, my man. Stick to sports. I mean, that's basically what he said without saying it. Like, <laughs> Cause I mean, well, y'all know how I felt about it. It's, uh, uh, the full review for that is on AmerianBeWire.com. Check it out. But uh, yeah, I was not a fan in any way, shape or form. I mean, I think it's probably because they were 
Like, I, again, I haven't seen it, but I think it was probably because they were trying to recreate that magic, and it's like, no, 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 no. Oh, no, you... no. They, they, they try to make it something way worse. Oh, really? Like, yeah, it, it's, yeah. It's bad. It's bad on all fronts. Okay. Yeah. I mean, uh, hey, feel free to feel free if you, if you got the time, knock yourself out and just tell me at what point did you give up? <laughs> did I give up? Well, you know I'm a trooper. I, I can I, I can I can hang. But I mean, I usually do try to for the most part, for the most part when it comes to movies and whatnot, but like you know, if it's really bad, it's like, oh no, I can't even <laughs> like I have to go back to it. So that's like, a, that's a movie I gotta watch on a certain day, like a very happy day or something like that. That movie makes my face scrunch up like back when you used to have Warheads candy. You just like Oh I never thought I could I went from seeing Don what's his name? Don Cheadle. Went from seeing yeah. Don Cheadle's Captain Planet <laughs> being a terrifying force and not giving a fuck. <laughs> To being an AI with a small man complex. Named Al G Rhythm. Al, Al G, G Rhythm. The algorithm. Wow. Yeah, not yeah. Wow. Well, I uh I don't know why, but don't really know what to make of that one. Mm-hmm. Last bit of news, which actually transitions over to the main subject today. Uh Jeepers Creepers. Is get, is getting a reboot. It's being uh, it's being handled by different people. The original creator and director of the series, who of course is now serving time, uh, oh. for being a, a sex offender. Oh, uh, well. yeah. Well, yeah. If you do the crime, you do the time. I mean, I mean hey, I, I'm not really mad at that, but wow, I did I didn't even know he was in prison. Listen, I I love when canceling comes with prison, especially for the right thing. Yeah, that's fair. And uh, and I did. I I enjoyed the first two Jeeper Creepers films. Third one was an absolute shit shoe because no one wanted to work with the guy. No one wanted to give the guy money. Oh, Gee, so is that why? why it was uh bad? Oh, okay. Yeah, because I mean the first Look, two were pretty, pretty, pretty gnarly. So, yeah, they they were pretty, they were solid pieces. The third one. Mm-mm. I have I have an issue. I'm very fucked. My my brain is in some fucked up places. Cause you mentioned Jeepers Creepers getting reboot, and in my head I started singing Jeepers. Oh Lord, where'd where to get those peepers? And then the moment you said he was in jail. <laughs> that, like, it was like a record scratch. Jeepers, creepers, where'd you go? <laughs> where'd your trolls go? <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Jeepers, jeepers, it's time to toot that ass up. We'll be right back, Ameri junkies. <laughs> <laughs> that was the geek report. We'll be right back. Oh. And we're back. That just reminded me of the fucking history mix to ignition. Oh no, 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 But uh, oh yeah, I saw that. That that actually was very hilarious. Yeah. I really feel like somebody needs to do it though. Somebody needs to make it a parody. Mm-mm, I ain't doing. Mm-mm. Why yes. not? Why not? I, uh, uh, mm. I'll, it will I'll, be I'll... hilarious. <laughs> it will be hilarious. I'll think about you it. You can't tell me it won't be funny. I'll think about Listen, it. Listen, if 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 Atheon Crockett can make a song about who's gonna hunt Chris Brown tonight after that whole fiasco with him and Rihanna, um. Uh, we can make has one. Weird Al done anything? Like Weird Al, no, Weird Al don't touch on certain stuff. You know what I mean? Like he'll make parodies and stuff, but like Weird Al Yankovic only puts out songs that he got. Uh, he's made a lot of parody songs, but the only ones he puts out 
are the ones he got consent from the artist to do. Yeah. To put out there. I mean, but I'm saying though, like we so can't I'm do sure a parody of R. Kelly's ignition. Like I'm pretty sure he has, but I don't think R. Kelly's lawyer will allow it out. I mean, I mean, you, you just called, need R. Kelly to agree to it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, no, 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 you just need R. Kelly to agree to it. You know the easiest way to get R. Kelly to agree to it? Tell us, sell me, and tell him to sign it. <laughs> but no, but no, no, tell us, sell me. His cellmate will convince him to agree to. But, <laughs> you know, hold, but hold on, yeah, like technically, Weird Al Yankovic, since he's doing parodies, he doesn't have to, but he'd rather he likes. He, Weird Al Yankovic likes to handle everything up front with people. So, yeah. he so he don't have to deal with the backlash later of people being like, oh, he used my song without permission or blah, 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 to say the third. I'm shocked he got, he then, then I'm shocked he got permission from Michael Jackson to do fat. Yeah. I'm, I'm shocked They're that he friends. got permission from Barbie. They were friends. Yeah. To do, um, if you see the music video Liberian Girl, Weird Al Yankovic is in the video. Yeah, I've never seen that video, so. Wow. It's tragic. Uh, you, listen, you're aging yourself right there. I'm oh, okay right. with that. But, <laughs> like, I'm mad you had to think about it, though. But task at hand. Now, now. One of the big reasons uh, I love uh, I love horror movies is despite despite a lot of people in Hollywood looking at it as a niche market, over the last 85 years uh, in horror alone, they've expressed every every social social, economical, geological, and environmental issue that's still prevalent today. <laughs> but the but now within the last I want to say the last 20 years. People are uh, people are finally starting to take notice, and horror is starting to be taken a lot more seriously. But today, I, today, I want to mainly focus on the monsters, because <laughs> when it comes down to it, some of these monsters just fucking rule. Can we get some good examples? Sure. Uh, oh. One one of the one of the OGs, the triple triple OGs, is Godzilla. Godzilla was literally a movie made uh, from the fallout of what happened in Japan over the nuclear bombs. Okay, fair enough. Like, like, like he's literally a symbol of nuclear genocide. Ah, okay. Yeah. See, that I didn't know, but for me, like, I don't know. Godzilla was Anytime. always, like, not all that Anytime, that's, interesting that's to just, me well yeah well not to, well, not to us but back then say it again uh, anytime i hear about that the origin of godzilla i just think to myself cruel son it was <laughs> just... <laughs> but i mean back back then when godzilla the original one first came out it was it was it was considered a horror movie. People were absolutely terrified. I mean, yeah. I could I could see why. Did they shoot all that with like miniatures? The no, back then it was a guy in a suit. So they did do like a miniature. They they did technically well, do like buildings. And yeah, stuff that's there. what I mean. Yes. Okay. Actually, uh, most of Japan's Godzillas have always been a guy in a suit. And for yeah. and for most of the years, it was always the same guy. Huh. Interesting. All right, give me another give me another one who like another monster who rules. Shit. Jeepers creepers. Cause I like I ain't gonna lie. Jeep yo, the creeper when the creeper first showed up in the movie, he had the crazy old but super fast car. And you honestly just thought it was some dude. And yeah, I, I imagine it was like a red a redneck or something, you know. Right. And, but not only that, but the dude, but the creep had a sense of humor. Like, whenever the song was playing, that means he was he was nearby. But it wasn't just like the old school jeepers creepers. At one point, it was like a whole remixed version of the song. I'm like, wait, so did he did he did he sanction a remix? 
I mean, he need a well. Here's the thing: if my if 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 Jason, oh, no, no, if Michael Myers could have then he could get that's, that's Jason, yeah. Oh, that is Jason. I, mm-hmm. I couldn't remember which one. I thought it was Michael Mike. Myers got the piano drone. Oh, okay, yeah. So yeah, it was Jason. Yeah. So like, if Jason could have, you know, if, if Jason got some like simple shit like that, he like, nah, bitch, I want to be, I want to be remembered. <laughs> <laughs> so you know that that's his. That's how he's remembered. You know. Um, and then, then my man was out here stealing uh-huh. body parts Trap, to upgrade. Man. I mean, listen, he was like, yo, I like your eyes. You know, give me them jobs. <laughs> like, He's basically, like, hey, he was like, he was like the, uh, he was like the, the booty warrior of like body parts. <laughs> listen here. Yeah. I yeah. like you and I want you. And we can wow. do this the easy way. We can do this the hard way. The choice is yours. Oh my goodness. That's, that just, that's haunting. And the fact that there was a scene in Jeepers Creepers 2 where he was like going around the school bus just snipping the kids from the window. Right. (laughs) Exactly. I like you. And I want you. And I want you. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) Like he was not fucking around. I mean, I had a dream about that bus one time. It was very, very scary. I mean, hey, if you want to elaborate, I'll listen. Um, well, it was like the dream was years ago, but I mean, it was pretty terrifying. Um, mm-hmm. I did not leave that goddamn bus at all. Um, and I stayed away from all the holes. Fair enough. I don't I don't really remember a whole lot from that dream, but I'm pretty sure it was probably after I watched the movie. So that's what kind of freaked me out, but you know, I made sure I kept my distance, you know, people um I'm not going to lie, though. Um, I might have fed Jeepers with, like, a few students. <laughs> hey, it's not like they ain't, they, ain't, they, ain't, they ain't have it coming, you know. It's like, well, you're a dick anyway. Bye. <laughs> you know, that's just I, how I felt. Oh. I choose now, to live. Right. Somebody got to tell a story. <laughs> uh. Ooh, another another great monster, and believe it or not, it was actually it's not even, it's not in real life. It's not really a monster, but the shark from Jaws, like like the like. Jaws. I mean, if you want to go with sharks, though, I would say the sharks from Deep Blue Sea. Yeah, but here's my all right. Here here's why. Here's why I'll always pick Jaws over those. They were they were super enhanced in these weird CGI looking sharks, and the fact that Jaws you really never saw the shark until the end of the movie. That like there there was a it was one of the one of those beautiful was, times where less was more. Yeah, I mean that's much. fair. Just just the scenario of being trapped. An underwater facility, slowly, rapidly filling with water, and there's a hyper intelligent shark. I mean, hey, my favorite part was LL Cool J catching bodies, mind you, like yeah. it's nothing. The, I mean, the like fact he that orchestrated LL cool the whole J, thing. He 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 cook. He was trying to cook LL Cool J. LL Cool J was like, oh hell no. <laughs> you mm-hmm. know what I mean? He was like, oh no. You know? He's like, he's like, nope. He's like, so I appreciate the headline. Cook dies in his own oven, but I got other plans. <laughs> and even like CML Jackson's like oh iconic. God, that was funny. You know, it's like we are not safe anymore. So first, we're gonna seal off this pool, and then just just like in the middle of him saying pool, that nigga just came up and just snatched his said, ass. No snitching. Like I said, it like it was orchestrated for him. He orchestrated the and whole. And I mean, but that's their fault about... for fucking with the animals like that. Yeah, another that that was another thing that pissed me off too. I was like, yo, this our whole idea scientifically sounds absolutely horrible. Like, like why would you pick an apex predator? That shit sounds worse than trying to bring dinosaurs back in Jurassic I mean, Park. That sounds just as bad as uh the Meg. 
Oh yeah, the megalodon. Yeah. Yeah. Can you imagine if they did some shit like that to the Meg? Bruh. That's some scary shit. It's cause... And see, we still haven't reached the bottom of the ocean. Nope. It's still like they still like coming up with different, oh. you know, devices and 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 you know, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, kind of like Have underwater they not rovers. Seen nature documentaries have they not right. seen how much them animals don't give a fuck because they live in darkness they were born so in it, molded yeah. by it <laughs> and ironically last year there was a movie called underwater with christian stewart it was it was a it was a it was an okay horror film but what won everybody over was the final big monster it was literally cthulhu who was living inside the Mariana Trench. I mean, but see, that's why you don't go down there fucking with people's houses. How would you feel if somebody just bust up in your house or whatever with a bunch of lights and shit, you know, trying to, try, like, just staring at you? I'm pretty sure I would react the exact same way. Uh, I said, like I said earlier, Northern Geek Report, at some point, it just becomes Jamaican. <laughs> You know what? I can't. I cannot. Now. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Now, yeah, all right. You know what? You know what movie monster was? Uh, we still don't know much about the monster because the follow-up films were just um very weird. Shit. Cloverfield. Yeah. Took the words right out of my mouth. Yep. Yeah, we still don't even know what this nigga look like. Oh no, we, we know, know what it looks like. We he kind of like else. resembles Godzilla, maybe. No, he look, doesn't. Oh, look, the only thing I know about Cloverfield is the name Cloverfield. Ah, I, I when I, heard, when came I got out, told were so you don't terrifying. even see the motherfucker until the end, and all of it looks like it was shot by one of the world star cameramen. And I was just like, yeah, yeah I got for real, this. for real. He might as well should have just okay. shouted like world star, like while he was running it or something. The funniest shit is the, guy, the character's name was HUD. Ha, 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 <laughs> for real. I mean that one and um let me see let me really think though who like what is a really what was a really like I feel like alright what are some un underrated monsters though in movies I do have one okay I do have one uh if you could please pull up I believe I sent it I believe I sent it to you uh pumpkin head mm -hmm. Who's this character from? Uh, it's from the movie series Pumpkinhead. Mm. Uh, it Shit. ironically from a very successful uh, effects studio. I'm you know, not uh, sure which one that is. It's the uh, it's the skeletal looking one with the Hold big. On. With the, with I the think I know eyes. who you talk. I, I think I know what you're talking about. It's all let great. Me, let me take a look real quick. Yes. He's pulling it up now. That nasty shit. Hold on, it's yep. There's something else. Pumpkin head. Hold on, what am I looking at? Wait for it to load. There we go. Pumpkin uh. head, nasty. Uh. Mm -hmm. Pure uh. nightmare people. He was a, a, a his head monster. looks like. I mean, oh, I would God. say I would also say. The the weird ass whatever the fuck that was from it. Pennywise his head looks like a light. mutilated test. Well, no, a Pennywise boiled down to like a whole nother whatever the fuck that was. Like I really don't know what it was. Like what? mind you, I watched the original it. Mm. So oh, okay. Even in the I original Yeah. Okay. Like we still don't know really what the fuck that was. Well, ironically, uh, ironically, Pumpkinhead was created by the Stan Winston studio, who is also behind the Predator design, as well as the Xenomorph and the Xenomorph Queen. Why was that the only character I ever seen with, with Dreadlocks, though? Like, I feel like they were trying to say something there. Well, 
yes, uh, yes, they were, and this is and this is what it you was. You were the Jamaicans. No, no, fuck it with you. <laughs> but I, but no, the funny thing is the whole outfit. Matter of fact, if you could put up Predator for me, please. Uh, the original outfit they had for Predator was for Jean Claude Van Damme, and it just looked absolutely ugly. It was big, it was bulky. Uh, Jean Claude Van Damme hated the fact that you couldn't see his face in it. And when they did some shooting with it, he just looked absolutely ridiculous. So Stan Winston uh, was on a flight with uh, James Cameron, and he was like, Yo, I got to come up with something else. And he was like, Why don't you start looking in the guerrilla and jungle warfare if you can make an alien out of, out of some culmination of that? Uh, you might have something there. So that's where the Predator design came up. And when he realized that he needed a guy that was like absolutely tall as hell, he could only find one brother to do it. And it was Peter Michael Hall. Mm. Peter Michael Hall stood at like 7'2". Wow. I know a guy that's like seven foot tall. Yeah. A gentle giant though. But they needed somebody to actually look intimidating to Carl Weathers and Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> I mean, for real, for real, Arnold Schwarzenegger is not actually as t- tall as like people think. No, but he. Is, but the problem was, it's hard to make someone who's intimidating. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like it's. <laughs> he might not be that tall, but he's he's an absolute unit when you look at his stature. So you gotta get somebody tall to make him look small. small. Exactly. Yeah. Like... <laughs> no, I, like I look at that. <laughs> oh yeah, can we can we also like like pay our respects to the young black man who was willing to like fight this nigga one on one? Like oh, fist fight, like straight up throw them dukes up type fight. You mean Bill? You mean when Bill Duke tr- wanted to take him on one on one? Yeah, yo, like I, I re- mad respect to this man because everybody else ran, everybody else runs. Oh, you, oh, you mean Billy? When Billy took his machete and cut it and made a mark across his chest? No, like he was in a tracksuit. The black man was in a tracksuit, and he was re- willing to take this nigga on. Wait, which movie are you talking about? Predator. Are you I got about Predator Two, probably. When they fought in the alleyway. Yep. Yeah, that's Predator Two. Yeah, when the uh, when the old Jamaican dude took out his cane sword and was like, "All right, let's do this," and immediately got decapitated. I mean, but he was willing to like, "Yo, bitch, throw your shit up." But that's the I thing. Mean, if, yeah. if you remember the first Predator movie, he yo he one v one a couple of those dudes. I mean, they yeah. tried. Barely. Points for trying. Barely. Ah, <laughs> they nah, were run- nah. Like by the That's... time he one v one them, they they were already they had already ran. This is why I couldn't be Retreat a henchman. Was the first instant. or any type of thing. I'm not gonna sit there and watch somebody body seven people or more with ease and them like, yes, yeah, my turn. Like no, nah, no, nah, you got it. <laughs> you good. I mean, That's why- I'm That's gonna rethink life's that- decisions. <laughs> That's why I love that one scene in Machete where Machete took out all these guards and then he came up on the one guy. The one guy dropped his gun. He was like, fuck this. I quit. <laughs> I mean, hey, he smart man. Smart man. He, you know, he like, you know what? My life is not worth this. Pay whatever the fuck they paying. I'm good. I don't need it. I'm Gucci. Um, Wait, what's, what's another monster? Can I say... That I would say would be like underrated. Hmm. If I can think of it. Mm. Well um I got I got I got a bunch of little monsters. Okay. If you could put uh, up the critters children? With the red eyes. Oh. <laughs> the the, cr- the critters. Each each critter it was literally a foot tall, but 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 they were these were from the uh, these these came from the eighties into the mid to late nineties. They had a series of films, 
one of them actually starring a young Leonardo DiCaprio. But they were like, there were like all these little ravenous man eating things that would travel by rolling around like Sonic the Hedgehog. They also wow. shot, they also shot poison darts. Like they was like 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 they was they had like African blow darts or some shit. No, I like sure imagine quills would come out their back and they would aim and shoot them. Oh shit! Without looking. Without looking. Damn. My Remember question is, is, why does this one right here, if y'all can see see the ball smooth, why does this one have glasses? Why is this eyesight bad? He got oh, he this, got goggles. Why is this? Why is this one tech support? Yo, and and that's the Why funny he, thing. Yo, they all had their own little. Text they all had their own little personalities. Like there were, it was the '80s, so you know you could also have fun with massacring people. So you know they eat people and they talk in their own language and fart. I mean, and, yeah, yeah. I mean, what do y'all think about tremors? Ooh, ooh. Now, I'm not gonna lie, that made me not want to go to the beach. That <laughs> is a classic, Nico. Damn. Yeah, I, oh, I did just, not want to go to the beach for a long time. They just put out another movie not too long ago. Yeah, that's I why I it kind of popped up in mind. Yo, that actually, yo, yeah. uh, yo, I, yo. When I was youngin and we went to the beach, I ain't gonna lie. Then walk. I stayed in the boardwalk for like the first hour or so. Uh huh. What? You thought the boardwalk would save you? The boardwalk wasn't directly on the uh, on the sand. I mean, yeah, but you know they built the boardwalk over the sand. Yeah, but the people down there would get eaten first because they was right on. Ah, yeah. you know you, people down there. This is how it go. People down there get eaten first. I'm up here. This is a buffer zone between <laughs> me and the sand, and, and all I gotta do is fall right back. And I'm on concrete, solid concrete. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, I guess. Depends That's on what beach you go to. <laughs> well, I'd say Cape May, it might get shaky. Atlantic City, yeah, you're good. <laughs> like, yeah, or um, what was the town I went to? Got my belly piercing. It was um, Ocean City. Uh, uh, it was it was in Jersey, but. It was like one of the. It, it was like maybe fourteen miles from Atlantic City. Egg Harbor Township. Nope, not that one. It, Seaside Heights. Ah. Yeah, you were you were in, you were in Guido and Guidette territory. You know what? You were. I'm not lying. I I have no comment on that. <laughs> I have no comments on that at all. But that's where I got my belly pierced. With the guy. I'm not, I'm not saying it as a as a, like it was a good or bad thing. I just know that's the area. <laughs> I mean, Brigantine Beach is nice. They don't have a boardwalk though. It's a very private town. Yeah. All right. Let's, let's get another ad break going. We'll be right back. All right. And we're back. Welcome back, folks. Hey, hey, hey! Still, uh, still talking about some of our some of our monsters here. Now, one. All right, here's one. Here's one that people remember. Can you bring up the guy with the uh, with his hands like this? Yup, yup, yup. There was a movie made by. Uh, Guillermo del Toro called Pan's Labyrinth. Oh yeah. And, uh, now that is, one was very creepy. This is the Pale Man. Now a lot of people never actually watched Pan's Labyrinth because they got turned off because it wasn't in English. <laughs> Luckily, I watch anime, so. <laughs> Fair enough. But uh, the he reminded me of that character from Demon Slayer. Yep. And I, <laughs> and I think that's where the, the animators uh, over at Demon Slayer got the idea. Probably. I wouldn't be surprised. 
but the pale man who's he looked like by, mm -hmm. he looked like he he had gastric bypass mm -hmm. never got rid of the extra skin and just you know and you um go ahead horribly portrayed or beautifully portrayed by doug jones mm -hmm. doug like doug like doug jones is probably one of the greatest creature actors ever there's like and, and the funny thing is i guarantee you all of us have seen him in at least five movies and not known that not known it was him i wouldn't be surprised especially if all, they do the makeup like this mm -hmm. well you know del toro don't play yeah well, true yeah. Like okay, wait. If we we on the 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 the, the train of Gil, Guillermo del Toro, the strain. Ooh, oh my good. I had to stop oh. watching it halfway through. I think I got to like episode five because the kid was getting on my nerves, and then nobody was paying attention to the kids, so I didn't finish. Um, <laughs> that that series, I probably may go back to it or whatever because I was so annoyed with that child. He was like, like I get it, you know, you lost your mom, and there's a lot going on right now. But bitch, you can't follow simple directions. See, now your ass is dead. Well, you know how me and Lamont go when it comes to these kids. Fuck them Fuck kids. Them kids. <laughs> Pretty much. That's how I feel in most horror movies. Or, wait, how about what about the monsters from a quiet place? All right, yo, I'm not gonna lie. The funny thing is. I love those monsters, but the, I all but I also feel like they came from Del Toro's creature camp because of the way the way they move and their shape. Because I feel like I've seen the same creature type mm -hmm. in Pacific Rim. Not saying that it's a bad, not saying it as a as a bad thing though. Right. But especially when they the way their faces open up with the armor and the ears. Ugh. Yeah. I mean, oh oh. I wasn't there a monster part. that had like that was like made of like maggots? Ooh. Uh, all, only one I can think of is Oogie Boogie from A Nightmare Before Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Oogie Boogie says there's trouble close at hand. <laughs> Oh man, uh, small tech is getting close to that time. <laughs> Don't worry, we're almost done. <laughs> no, actually, no, no, no. I'm saying it's getting close to that time for me to sit there and watch night before. Uh, oh, oh I like to use it as a transactional piece, so I always I wait till the end of the month. I feel you. That's I, I, I like. It. I zoomed out during November, so most of November is just one big day. One okay. big day, wow. Mm. Look. Now, I'm here for the food, not everything in between. Fair hey, enough. I, I, here's a, now, here's the funny thing, because I was thinking back to what Nico was saying about it. I think, uh, I definitely think that Bill Skarsgård's version of Pennywise is way more monstrous and i think and i but don't get me wrong i like tim curry's portrayal but the fact that they let this be like full rated r fuck them kids energy <laughs> i mean like i guess it was like a spider like monster but again we still don't know what the fuck it is well, funny thing. Well, that and and funny thing is, in in the films, in the in the newer films, they kind of stuck to this form, even even in Pennywise's um, death. Right. So I put death in air quotes because I have a strong feeling that that director is just going to be like, "All right, so I wrote this third one, right?" <laughs> right, right, exactly. Like they be doing with Saul. Well, Saul. Getting well, treated. Saul is a whole different creature now. They just had um, they just had a crime drama with Chris Rock and Samuel Jackson. I'm actually curious to see what that looks like, though. Uh, check it All out. All I know is I see something coming at coming down the street 
that looks like this is getting pumped full of full of slugs that just been soaking in no, holy fuck that. water. Grenade. All that. Grenades. Well, no, fuck, here, I only want to take a chance. Grenades. Here's the problem, and hear me out. As Philadelphians, we can defeat Pennywise by doing what we do best: talk shit. Boy, dude, get the fuck out of here! You, you eight leg the, looking they ass. Are, I'm getting flashbacks. <laughs> like, what if he would have showed up on Troll Thursdays back in the day at CC? Bro, like, fuck out of here with that eight forehead ass, Krusty the Clown makeup having ass. <laughs> like, yo, I could just see it. Like, <laughs> like this is like, is this dance supposed to be scary? <laughs> Looking right. like you doing the okie dokie shuffle, Beverly Hills. Conference. But see, that's why. Notice how out. most of those types of stories, though, are always based in small towns. They well, yeah. are never based in the city. Well, yeah, the majority of Stephen King's work takes place in Maine. In Stephen King's world, Maine is his Florida. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, it is. That should not have been as funny as it was, but <laughs> it. It was <laughs> like that's just like Connecticut. Like you ever notice that most of these haunting movies and shit like that with the ghosts and ghouls and shit is always in Connecticut mm -hmm. or like Rhode Island dude. or somewhere each, up there. Each spot every, you can't have the same thing happening in fucking the same spot all the time. We would New York would be a give glass a floor movie. at this point. Right, give me a horror <laughs> movie where they, it's based in a big city and shit is happening. I mean, we could try that again. With like Candy in the Man, hood, though. To a certain extent. I mean, the Candyman was obsessed with this white girl, so that. Mm. The hood, well, the, not, the, I've well, requested the new, the new one was different. I'm not going to say it was better. Okay, I requested it don't it don't be in Philly because any monster like creature is just gonna get lit up, <laughs> and that it might not be on the first appearance. It might just get lit up, getting accident trying to scare somebody and accidentally running into a shooter. <laughs> get yeah, lit up. I mean, I All feel like go ahead. I feel like we should like make like the world's shortest horror movies based in Philadelphia. <laughs> like I feel like a Philadelphia horror movie. Would be like a, a demon possessed gritty. And like he starts stabbing niggas? Like, no, not even stabbing. He just beats people to death. He walks, he, he just, he, he skates around with a hockey he stick. See, he, he see a, he see a, 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 a Dallas. I, I feel as though it would be limited. You'd just be limited. It, it just be limited. Just don't you don't go to like the stadiums when it's not active. It's just not a game. You don't you won't be caught by him. He just no. roams the stadiums and that, and that whole area. He is he is yeah. the Broad Street bully. At night he Broad at night Street. he just skates Broad Street, finding somebody to whoop their ass. I mean, I I can see that, and then he gonna run into a shooter, and then like game over, or he run into somebody's grandma, and she like I the only ghost we allowed in this house is the Holy Ghost. He just gonna get caught. He gonna get caught in the shootout if, at the. Uh, he's gonna get caught in the shootout at the fucking. Uh, he's gonna find out movie grandma's theater shooter. on Broad Street. Let's see, <laughs> now see, I strictly said. South Broad Street. He's not going to North. Yeah, no, no, he, he, he wouldn't north. survive North. <laughs> he wouldn't survive North. That's how you Don't finish off. He'd be That's running. What you do. He would wait. Gonna, Could you imagine the hood trilogy. chasing his ass down Broad Street to the South Side? <laughs> and then that's part two. Just making a trilogy. The first two movies happens in uh, South Philly. The third mm -hmm. movie, where it ends, he takes his ass all the way up near Temple. <laughs> Oh no! If he had, if he <laughs> was with him, this, this would be fresh pickings for him. You yeah, gotta go he'll be the, safe. He got to go past. Oh, he got to go past Temple. He either got to go no, no, no. left, a few blocks. That left, movie, few that blocks same right. movie, Verity, that get shot up once a year. Like it's, 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 it's only once a it's year. It's an annual thing. It's raining. Okay, you gonna get caught up on that night. <laughs> 
Mm -hmm. I mean, I could just see it though. Like, like North Philly, like the first movie, be like, he he tried to make his way up North Philly or whatever, and then the whole hood is chasing his ass down south, down down Broad Street, whatever. They chase his ass down South Philly. He ends up down South Philly and, and, and ends up having a good old time until he ends up in Point Breeze, mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. Point Breeze finish him off. Not say you shot up and roasted the whole way there. Yep, basically. Okay, so all right. When it comes to when it comes to like just the scariest monster design, who do you have? The scariest? Yeah, like whenever um, you look at it, you just like mm. Um oh, I right, can put so, that up on screen right now. See, that's hard, my, but there is there is like one specific uh character and y'all gonna laugh at me when I say this, but Ooh. and and she's not a monster. That's the that's Ooh. that part. The is witch, it that lady from oh the right. witch from uh snow white from the animation like for some reason her fucking face just gives me the heebie-jeebies every time i look at it that's fair like i don't know why no, that, like, no. i was a child yo. no that's a no that's legit I, I i'm not disparaging that at all but mine's right there that alien queen Ugh. the fact that <laughs> each one of the little ones Stand roughly between seven and eight feet. And this is the queen. Towering. Oh, these months. So not she's only, at least 20, 30 that, feet tall. The entire act of the xenomorph is just... The yeah, but mind you, the entire act more. of the xenomorph from... Like, you know, you know what's another... Uh, it, well, again, this is not a monster, but white men in cornrows or dreadlocks. Oh Lord. Mm. Okay. Will you leave Riff Raff out of I'm just saying. <laughs> it's another one. Kinda gives me the heebie jeebies. <sighs> yeah, but when it comes to when it comes to design, like literally that thing came from an HR guy uh, Geiger book. And the weirdest thing is the mo like the movie still holds up really well and the symbolism in the movie still holds up to this day. And it always and it, that always will freak me out. What? An alien. Uh, yeah, that 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 definitely is like one of those, especially the face huggers. Well, the whole like those the, creep me out. But like literally back then, no one was thinking about doing a sci-fi horror movie that was like based in like an, a concept of sexual assault. Yeah. Because that's literally what happens. The face huggers get on your face, they implant something in you, and then hours later, it literally shoots out of your chest and kills you. Like that is abs and my and and let's let's be real. Put it put up put it that picture of the xenomorph. The its face literal its head literally is a penis. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but they don't use the head though. They just use the face hugger. No, but 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 their heads, and then when they uh, when they attack, their mouth opens up, and then another mouth comes out and penetrates your heart or your face. Yeah, it's kind of gross. It's very gross. That's why it will always be at the top. <laughs> like when it comes to when it comes to this monster shit, I just like. <laughs> And these and these punk bitches have the audacity to bleed acid. Yeah, yo, that's that's really hilarious, but really not at all. Cause, cause I, I got it. Ah! Remember, right. It had his ass on a net and everything, and the net was was like razor sharp or some shit. And, and then this nigga the started was... bleeding. As like, soon as this bitch started just... bleeding, he was like, "Freedom, freedom, bitch!" Like one. <laughs> It's already disrespectful that you were you were seven feet tall. You look your head looks like a phallic object. I feel like I'm being attacked by some weird, creepy, and alien dildo. And you mean to tell me the shit that comes out you burns my skin? Ah, type of STD shit. I mean, at least at least the predator got some rules. The predator's like, listen, if you ain't got no weapons. I ain't gonna hunt you. Like, that's no point. 
He's like, he's like, where's the fun? <laughs> there isn't any. He's like, it's no well, fun. As soon as you pick up, as soon as you pick up something, <laughs> your ass is grass. So right, gun? right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Like, you've, like you've decided that you're that you're about this life. Time to take. It. Time to time to show you what what really this life is all about. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, but yo, I rock yo. I don't. I, I I wasn't old enough to know, but did the Predator movies like make a bad stereotype for Rastafarians and whatnot back? Well, then? that's what I was getting at earlier. No, because you got me thinking about it now. I'm like, what do you I, mean? I definitely felt like there was we definitely some implications remember. there. I mean, yeah, that came out in the eighties, the first one. Yes. So I mean, yeah, it was before yours and my time, but um I was born in eighty. I don't know, I know, I know. I'm saying I what do you mean I he don't remember? I wasn't right. allowed to see these movies until the nineties, dude. Okay. Phil, <laughs> old as fuck. I yeah, saw the movies before we did. <laughs> 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 See, I didn't even say all that. See, the book is just disrespectful as hell. But I mean, you know, it's like, like I, I definitely see the implications there, and I didn't particularly care for that. But I understand, you know, it's 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 a movie, and you know, just like comedy, nobody's safe. But that's a whole nother story. Nobody um, ain't touching that. That's another. That's a whole nother podcast nope. there. Nope. Whole nother podcast. I've been, yeah. I've been told to put my hands up and be quiet on that one. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'll be talking about it. Not over here, but I'll be talking about it. So be sure to follow me because I'm talking a lot of shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're going to uh, have that conversation for sure. Yeah, we can. Uh, but sadly, folks, I don't think uh, I don't think you guys will be around to listen to it. But we do thank you for listening in today. That's most definite, most assured. Absolutely. Um, want to thank you guys for tuning in today to the Mary Beach Junkies podcast. Wherever you're listening to this podcast, I hope you downloaded it, gave us a rating, gave us a little critique. Tell us what you think. Yeah, um, what are some what are some underrated monsters that you guys um, that maybe we didn't mention, or what are some top what are your top monsters as well? Definitely reach out to us in the comments. Now, I do have one. I have one person who put a who asked a question today. Uh, Walter Dinsberg, my question, do you think the little face suckers to infect with their monster design still pose an issue if they made it to Earth? It will cut their spawn rate in a huge way. Hmm. And and this is in reference to the face huggers uh, for the xenomorphs. Uh, do you think of them? I don't know. If, if, you, if, you, if you take out the whole like face huggers... If you took out the face hunger situation, I definitely think that Xenomorphs would not be a threat. Not as much of a threat. As They'd as still be a threat. threat. I don't but think yeah. You don't have to worry threat. about the Their spawn rate would definitely not be nearly as high, but I mean, isn't that their purpose? Plus the, plus the whole way they in, the, the, the whole way they infiltrate, infiltrate is because they put eggs in people and then they don't burst until hours later. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I mean, that'd be some scary shit. Mm-hmm. But yes. Plus, you would so have much. to. On top of that, you, you would have to Jennifer. not have a queen. You would not wouldn't be able to have a queen morph around either. Mm, that's good. She is the source wonder, of those eggs. Yeah. I wonder how that. I wonder how that would go then. How would how would how would uh, an Ian Malcolm's how would life uh, find a way? Find a way. You know humans are unpredictable, so Yeah, it's true. So. But uh you YouTubers, thank you for checking this out today as well. Uh don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We've got uh we 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 have a lot of things rolling out soon. Uh <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be a good time around these parts. Um and Whew, this has been a fun. This has been a fun one. Yeah, I had a good time. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I love you guys. I can't oh, wait to see you guys. We love you too. That's right. 
The Queen is going to be stopping into the 215 area code in the not too distant future. There will be laughs, light, and love. Yep. And we're going to do at least two um, episodes while I'm there. So then you guys actually get to see me on camera, all cute and stuff, or whatever. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and with, with the homies, you know, are we going to use just one? Are we are we using just one um, camera at that point? Or are we still going to be like the three of us on separate? I don't know. We'll probably, we'll probably set something up around the table down, downstairs. Or we could do, be, wait, do we still have um, rec? Not at the present time. Okay. <laughs> but, right. uh, but yeah, it's, uh, but uh, everyone, we want to thank you guys for tuning in. Um, and I think it's time for, time for us to say goodbye. And, goodbye. Um, farewell. So long, my friend. <laughs> Love you guys. Uh, this is this has been the American Junkies. This is Corey Salt Street Floyd saying good, good night and be well. Demon and you. Your girl Queen Nick. Follow me everywhere. QueenNick.art. Check out my website www.QueenNick.art. Hey, and make sure you check out uh, AmeriMedia.com and also AmeriMedia Wire. And don't forget to check out Intellectual Inc. as Indeed. well as the AmeriMedia Wire magazine. New issue coming soon. Indeed. Oh, and if any of you guys bought previous issues with your girl on it, you know, I will definitely gladly autograph your uh, your copies. Oh, and buy some merch or I'm coming for your left shoes. Your left shoe, I'm taking that's, left socks. That's oddly specific. Fair enough. I'm okay. just taking left socks. Uh, I'm just taking I'm just taking one sock. See you, everybody. Wear. <laughs> See ya. Hi, everybody. This is Corey Salter True Floyd for Marybee Media, and I hope you enjoyed this podcast video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to check out our other videos right over here. You have a good one. See you around.